<laughs> All right, this is an exciting, we'll call it a mail time Friday, even though it's a couple days worth of stuff. But today is when pretty much everything is here. It's all here. Uh, this I got in a package the other day. This is a, when I go to do the blower install, well, let's take a load off here. When I go to do the blower install, I will show you exactly what this does and replaces, but a lot of people still don't remember that we talk about the accessory drive for the blower and how I had to do the C5 back cut offset, which is what this is from Olson Custom Works. The LOJ accessory drive I'm using that uses part of the Nissan accessories, it uses the stock Nissan power steering pump, alternator, and air conditioning pump in the stock locations. And he has a tensioner and a wrap idler setup that works with that. And for the blower, it has the ribbed idler going around. So for the blower, you need this to, I'll have to show you, this has to come up around the blower and then back down. So this is a smooth metallic idler that I'm going to use. So that is a big step. Can't do the blower without that. I got that. And then the other day, Someone sent me a smaller intercooler tank so I can do engine bay. This just fits in the engine bay. And we're gonna put this in the front and use this for the water tank for now. And Monkey Fab, incredible, stepped up and sent me, he said in one of my videos, I complained that I was running out of vacuum hose and I said I would buy some. And before I did, he sent me some. So he sent me a bunch of different size and a lot of length of vacuum hose. Incredible. So I have that. And then, and here is another box for Monkey Fab. Man, that's some good tape. There, Mike. This is fittings for my blower and they're barbed for this hose. So he sent the hose and everything. He was like, well, I don't have a fancy push lock. And I was like, oh man, I don't care. Send me heater hose. So that's what he sent me. I got all that. I got this. And then I got the intercooler tank. And then in here from Jesse Olson of Olson Custom Works, there should be The icing for the cake on my birthday, also known as my LSA blower snout, with uh, the plates, adapter plates, gaskets, instructions, back cut, pulley, everything. Snout. Now a lot of people think I sent this out, we're going to interrupt myself, a lot of people think I sent this out to get it ported or to get something else done. It isn't that. Uh, I might have to show you in a video. I've posted it a couple times, but people still get confused. But once I show you, it should make a lot of sense. All right. There she is. There's the plates. There's some gaskets. There's a idler relocation thing. I probably, I don't know if I'll be able to use that with my setup. Here's the adapter plates that go from the square port on the blower to the cathedral port on the engine. And here is assuming LS1, yep, LS1 intake gasket rings that go in the plates. Because I already have the gasket on the blower. Anyway, as you can see here, this blower snout comes out to like here and there's a separate 10 rib blower drive that goes on these engines. So there's AC, which is like four rib, and there's six rib accessory, and then there's a 10 rib front blower drive only. So I don't have room for that really technically on my car. So also what they do for C5s and stuff is they cut the snout out, they machine this all back, and then they, I, they modify the snout to fit the smaller pulley, and then you can see how the, the, 
the end of the drive shaft or whatever you want to call it comes out to here and this pulley is back cut that far to get to stock Corvette accessory and a lot of people who have a keen eye notice this is 8 rib uh, he puts an 8 rib on it in case you ever upgrade the car to 8 rib so it just doesn't ride on two of the ribs once you're running 6 rib and there is a lot of controversy about how these slip and don't work but I think I have optimal setup for it to work I'm also not spinning the hell out of it I'm not doing any lower modifications just the upper I understand how people say that the this pulley is very small it's hard to get traction on it when you're trying to drive the blower hard but I'm not really trying to drive the blower that hard I don't have really huge expectations out of it uh, people can't even tell me really how much boost it's gonna run because nobody is dumb enough to put these on a 4.8 like I am so we will learn it'll all be interesting oh it looks like you even put allen keys in here for me that's really nice I don't have to do anything with those. Other than that, I just got our TV, this guy back on and start to bolt it on. And I'm going to video all of it. I have a manual tensioner set up. I'm going to have like 99% belt wrap on this thing. So uh, I think it should be able to handle the task. My, my goal is 500 tire. I would love anywhere between five and six, but that's all depending on boost and a lot of other things that are going on. But I have a higher compression LS engine and I have the little bit better cylinder heads and everything else so That's what I would like. I don't think I will be happy unless it's put it like on nitrous made 498 and I don't think I'll be happy unless it makes that kind of power all the time Like 550 range will make the car a lot of fun. So we'll see when we get there. We'll all find out together I will share along the way, but it's here. It's all here Excellent that's my update. A lot of people have been like, some people were like, dude, we know you have the blower. And I'm like, bros, if I had this blower snout, this shit would be bolted on already. <laughs> so I literally just got it in the mail today. So now I can take, I'll probably take the bumper off, get the intercooler heat exchanger mounted, get this stuff installed. I think this just fits in the engine bay, like sideways in the fender well. So it would be nice to mount that near the heat exchanger in the tire well bumper area so bumpers got to come off it'll be nice if i can tuck it in there hook up all the hoses make sure there's no leaks once everything's good because it'll be easy to fill that from the top but not i can't get the anyway you'll see get all that on with the bumper off put the blower on get the water circulating get a key on source all of that happy stuff is what's going to happen and that's it. And then we'll make blower noises and we'll see what kind of power it makes. I'm excited. Are you excited? Finally. Sweet. Here we are. Let's see how she does. <laughs>